From the Tribune News Network, this is Newsbreak. I'm Kirk Smith. Thursday's top stories, Finance Minister, Prime Minister Minutes, leading off debate on what is expected to be a three-week exercise to get the budget bills through Parliament and to the desk of the Governor-General for signature, telling members again they are confident in their plans to run the country's finances for the next fiscal year and it will lead to recovery. The Prime Minister making one new announcement in his contribution. It's a tax break. This year... For the first time, we will undertake a VAT holiday for hurricane preparations. And this will be during the month of July. This will assist Bahamians and residents to enjoy VAT-free shopping on a range of critical hurricane supplies and equipment. The details on that will be coming from the Ministry of Finance. Deputy PLP leader Chester Cooper, the lead speaker for the opposition side, he says, among other things, they're very worried about the growing deficit. Among the first-day speakers, Education Minister Lloyd, who told the House, among other things, that the government has spent $40 million on school repairs. This is news break from the Tribune News Network. Outside the house, a demonstration by a group of student nurses, and that got some attention. They're calling for the government to find a way to allow them to complete clinical training at the hospital so they can graduate. The coronavirus got in the way of their training. The government is promising to fix that. Maybe the lockdown is working. No new corona cases reported from the three islands. Heading into the final weekend of a 14-day lockdown to try and control recent outbreaks there, 29 cases reported for Tuesday by the Ministry of Health, all of them in the capital. Hospital numbers dropping to 49 now with four persons in the ICU. Another corona-related development that is getting some attention, Haiti's government has now decided to accept vaccine from COVAX in an attempt to stop the fast-spreading virus there. Three men charged in connection with that recent exhumer drug bust granted bail by Chief Magistrate Joanne Ferguson Pratt. The appeals court upholds the 60-year prison sentence of a man convicted of the murder of a married couple in Grand Bahama five years ago. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management, the weather system in the area lifting to the north. Still some related weather in the area, but improving in time. Some clouds, some sun, some showers may still be around. Highs in the mid-80s, 83 at Freeport, 83 in the capital, 86 at Matthew Town. Course and flags are up for boaters. Winds getting up to 20 knots, the seas up to 6 feet over open waters. Next time is a low around 11 this morning, next high about 4 this afternoon. Turning partly cloudy tonight, lows from the mid to upper 70s. Some showers still possible in the area. No systems in the tropics. If you need additional weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call insurance management. We are in the hurricane season now. Insurance management urges you to complete your preparations and ensure that your home and contents coverage is up to date. Call them today. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than insurance management. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. Ne- Let the Bahamas and the world know that you're open for business by advertising in the Tribune and on Tribune242.com. Reach the market that'll get your cash registers ringing by calling 502-2394 today. All professional advertising agents are on hand to customize packages just for you, and consultations are free. Give your business the maximum exposure for an affordable investment, and let us help you increase your sales. Call 502-2394 today. We're open for business. Let the world know you are too. The Tribune, the people. Paper, biggest and best. Thursday's World News headlines Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu could be out of office. A coalition of parties has completed a deal to form the next government there and force Netanyahu out after 12 years in office. Sri Lanka bracing now for an environmental disaster. That burning ship is now sinking. It has more than 350,000 gallons of oil on it. Fears that it will spill into the ocean, causing a disaster in the area. More trouble for the Olympic Games just 50 days away now. Some volunteers are now beginning to back out. Tribune's gas tracker prices for Thursday, Shell 491, SO501, Rubis $5.01 per gallon in the capital. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. Not good news for our men's soccer team competing in a tournament in Puerto Rico. They lost 7-0 to the host country. The Tribune Sports has the details. 
Jazz homers for the Marlins in Major League Baseball, but they lose to Toronto again. Read about that and get all of the Major League Baseball details. Big award for John Quayle Jones from the WNBA. She is the Eastern Conference Player of the Month. The Tribune Sports has coverage. DeAndre and the Suns try to eliminate the Lakers in the NBA playoffs tonight. They play Game 6. The rest of the NBA news in the Tribune Sports Thursday. For all your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com.